Hi, welcome to another episode of Mike's Munchie Mayhem, also known as Mmm Mmm Mmm. Do it with me. Mmm Mmm Mmm. Okay, yeah, okay. If you did it with me, I'll love you forever. But if you didn't do it with me, do it with me next video. Okay? Anyways, so um, today is episode number three. I'm trying something new. I'm trying to record earlier so that I can edit. But we'll see how it works out because I'm still lazy at editing. But we'll see. Anyways, um, this week's been crazy, but I'm alive still. So that's all real... That's all that really matters. So, um, let's... Oh, yeah, right. I'm Michael. But then you already knew that. You, you wouldn't be watching episode 3 if you didn't know that. But, like, whatever. Um, I'm glad you're here. Uh, so let's taste some snacks, okay? So I'm trying to get through all the things that I bought at World Market. Sorry that I've only been doing World Market. But I did do one Trader Joe's. And I did one f snack from Hawaii. But, like... We'll get to more. Anyways, um, I'm going to be trying four little snacks from World Market. And they're all still pretty affordable. So I hope you guys can get a hold of them and try them out. Um, okay, so let's get to it. The first thing I will be trying is this. <laughs> it's called the Filled Mixed Berry Dark Chocolate. And it retails for around 2 to $4.00 depending on where you're at. Sometimes they have a sale on these things, sometimes they don't. Um, but yeah, it's made with imported Belgian chocolate. And the packaging is pretty cute. I like the berries on there, it's pretty cute. So hopefully I get to taste each one of those when they're in there. Um, so yeah, let's let's try it, okay. Oh, it's cute, packaging is cute. It's like a gold bar, well, it's kind of, dull gold but gold enough okay so we open it up and it's kind of like the same ridges that we had for the smaller candy bars um but just longer i don't know if you can see it there you go okay so let's try one. Oh, shoot right away it broke apart right there it's filled duh mmm mmm this is really good Mmm. 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 Okay. So, if you know those little chocolates that they give in boxes, it's like a slightly upgrade of that. Um, there's not too much filling, and the chocolate isn't too overpowering. So, it tastes good. I like eating sandwiches like Nutella with, um with jam or something like that. This is what it kind of tastes like. You can really taste the berry flavor. Um, it almost reminds me of, of fruit by the foot. It tastes really good. I like it. I would totally eat more of it, but there's other stuff to eat right now. So let's see. Um, it looked really good. What musical taste is it? Um, it's totally, I don't know, some kind of fast movement classical springtime something like that it tastes very fresh and refreshing while still having enough body so probably something classical something romantic in between there but a fast movement yeah anyways so vocal fox this to me tastes like a really lovely soprano that you just love to listen to um she is not overbearing, still very sweet, and just is a nice person inside, okay? Nice person inside. So anyways, overall score, I would totally give this a 7 or an 8. You should try it. It's only 2 to $4. And yeah, try it. It's worth a try. It's totally a treat if you like sweet things. Um, okay, great. So the next thing we're going to be trying is... This cookie mint flavored dark chocolate, okay? The packaging is super cute. It goes for 2 to $4. These things were right next to each other. And so, uh, yeah, I like the packaging. It totally tells you what it is. So let's try. Oh my God. 
I always have trouble opening these things. Okay, okay. So it's packaging after the foil, after the paper is a same, same paper, same dull paper or a gold dull paper. And it has the same, same ridges as the other ones. Okay, let's see the snap. Okay, so it's not filled, duh, because it's not filled. It's flavored. Right away, you can smell the chocolate and the mint. Hmm, let's try. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Oh my god. Okay. So, done. I'm going to pick me now. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. Okay. So, it tastes like those little Andes chocolates, but with cookie. It's just so good. I too like chocolate mint. And so with this added cookie texture, it just, it, it's such, it's so refreshing. The crunch gives it a certain balance and it's totally like a Thin Mint, totally like those Girl Scout Thin Mints. Also, Girl Scout cookies are coming. I'm excited. Supposedly there's new flavors, but we'll see. Anyways, um, yeah, that was very good. Music taste-wise, um, I don't know, like, it felt very lovely, but refreshing. I don't know. Um, vocal Falk, I'll find something. You know, I always put stuff down in the bottom anyway that I think it'll be. But anyways, Vocal Falk wise, it reminds me of like a very nice full lyric tenor. Um, I don't know if I'm a full lyric tenor. I'm not sure. I feel like I'm in between light lyric tenor and full lyric tenor. But then sometimes there's those days where like my voice just feels kind of dark. And I'm not a dramatic tenor, but I wish I was sometimes. But anyways, um, it's very refreshing overall score. I'd give it like a good eight, seven or eight. It's really refreshing. These two bars, they're both related to each other. They're very good. I don't know where they make them. Um, oh, uh, they make them somewhere. Alameda, California. Really good. They're just really good. I'm just, I'm like, wow, yeah, I totally, I was expecting kind of, mm, mm. but anyways, I would totally go for these if I'm in like a meh mood and I need something to pick me up. These things both totally just like, like, oh, hmm, pleasant. So totally, a, you have a soprano and a tenor right here. Let's try something else, okay? So the next thing that I'm going to try is, and I'm really excited for this is the Mediterranean Halva with cocoa. This retails for 99 cents. Yeah, like it's that cheap, 99 cents. Like, oh, I'm so excited to try this because I really liked the first Halva that I tried in the last episode. Um, it was really good. So the packaging, of course, is more brown than the other one. The other one was more red and um, yeah, let's try it. I can't wait. Ooh, okay, right away, this one is not as wet as the other one, and it has like a nice marble-looking wood texture or whatever. I mean, the way it looks. It looks cute. I would still eat it the way it looks. It's just so pretty. Mm. Anyways, let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So, it's not as wet as the other one, but it's still moist. It's still way more moist than a pulveron. Um, yeah, it's just, it's really good. I would totally keep eating this. I, okay, so music taste wise, of course, um, it reminds me of something Mediterranean or Middle Eastern. Um, just, it just sounds like, like, it just sounds good. Like, it sounds good. I don't know what else to say about it. Um, vocal fuck wise. Oh, yeah, wait. So, yeah, the last time I think I put down, it sounded like a choir. 
Well, it does. I don't know. It's just nice. It's not as heavy as the other one. Surprisingly enough, because there's chocolate, which is an added ingredient. It gives it a certain lightness to it. So you'll hear it when I put it down below. Um, vocal fog wise. Um, I forgot what I said about the other one. But this one feels like a lighter contralto, a lighter alto, not super heavy or dark at all. Just like a nice, easy contralto singing in the mid-range. Same thing with the mezzo-soprano. Just like something nice and here, you know, like a soprano singing, of, oh no, a mezzo or a contralto singing offranda. I think I said that right. Mm. Eh. So is it worth a try? Totally, totally. All these snacks I've had so far, so good, okay? And so, yeah, try it, try it, why not? Then the last thing I'm gonna eat today, I love the packaging of this, and it's like weird, but so pretty. It's called the Dark Fig Chocolate um, with, uh, it's a dark chocolate fig with pistachio filling. Look at that packaging. Isn't it gorgeous? It is gorgeous. It looks like just like a like a mini quad palette, you know, just like mm, 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 mm. so I'm hoping the color story in here is great. Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, the packaging is gorgeous. It goes all the way around. And this one, I think I couldn't find my receipts, but I know this retailed for around like $3.99, $3.99 to $4.99. Um, you can always just wait for it to go on sale, but I'm really excited for this one. This one's really, really cute. Um, all of these come from, just a side note for the people, all of these come from um, the allergy information. There's like nuts in here or the place that they're made out of has nuts. So be careful, be careful. Um, so let's try this beautiful thing. Um, oh my, it is oily inside dude oh it is wet and oily look at that oh my lordy okay well it has three ridges so it's not multi-ridge like the other one i don't know why it's wet like this it's not it's only winter oh it's cracked at some parts anyways let's let's try oh okay oh man it broke out more oh dear so it is filled. Hmm. Whoa. Hmm. Hmm. So you can taste the. So there's chocolate, obviously. But then you can taste the fig. The pistachio flavor first, and then the fig could just like. cruises on in, you know? It's like, ha ha ha, yeah. I don't know if that makes any sense. Mm. Um, the combination of flavors almost makes it taste like it's alcohol. Um, or it has alcohol. It probably doesn't, it doesn't. But, you know, certain combinations of flavors. Like, if you mix the mocha drink with the smoothie drink that we have at work. Ah, it kind of tastes like that. Or it smells like that. Just it tastes like it has alcohol. But I don't think it has alcohol. Anyways. Um, it's really sweet. Um, I like all these. Um, mood taste. I don't know what mood I would be in. To want to eat this. But if I had it. I wouldn't want too much of it. Because it's a very heavy, heavy taste. Um, music taste wise. This totally feels like. Just a scene from an opera where everyone's singing, having fun, and then disaster strikes. Or not a disaster, but more like a surprise happens that just takes over the stage. The stage. Okay, but anyways, um, vocal fuck wise, like, to me, this tastes like an evil character that's like sexy. Uh, like, it could be a sexy baritone, it could be a sexy soprano, 
just it's a it has a presence like the way it looks the way it tastes it has a certain dominance and i'm just like ooh, i'm down for that um overall score i would totally give that a seven um just because it's strong like i like it but anyways um yeah these were all really good you can find these all at world market um a few closing things oh yeah so sneak peek um i'll be trying these two things that i got from tokyo central so make sure to click like subscribe or comment i want to hear from you guys if you watch these videos and um yeah these ones oops these ones i'm excited to try them out they look really good um so yeah what 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 do I normally say for these? So yeah, click like and subscribe, comment and taste, see and hear the music, or I'll just see you guys next time. Thank you for being here. I'm glad you're here. Uh, thank you for watching. Okay, bye bye.